Welcome to the Jackets Law Library video tip and this one is about Firefox. Firefox version 19 was just released and the big thing in Firefox 19 is it a native PDF viewer. Now what does that mean and why should you care about it? Well let me just show you how it how Firefox works now. I've pulled up a PDF from the Jenkins website uh, legislative history from 1887 and I use the Adobe Acrobat viewer within the browser. Okay, and here it is, and you can scroll down, you can save, you can print, you can zoom in and out, and uh, I like it. I have no, uh, I have no real beef with it. However, the native viewer is a little bit different. Presents it more, um, more as a document that you can sort of flip through. It's got different controls. This one's a probably a little bit uh, more difficult for me to read right off the bat. I kind of have to zoom it a little bit better to make it read better. Um, but you have some options up here. It really depends on what you're used to and what you're comfortable with and what you like. If you want to use the native PDF uh, viewer or if you want to use the Adobe um, viewer, it's really up to you. The only thing that I would say is um, the Adobe add-on is one more thing to manage and so if you go with the native viewer then you don't have this um, plugin that you have to deal with. Uh, does Adobe have more security holes than Firefox? I'm not going to go there. I know that Adobe does have some uh, issues uh, has had them in the past, but really I think what it comes down to is what you're more comfortable with and whether or not you want to have one more plug-in to manage. I'm not quite sure at this point myself which one I'm going to go with, but I know that I can easily toggle back and forth by disabling and enabling the Adobe Acrobat Viewer and I'll make my final decision, but at least you now know that you have a choice between um, the native, I'm sorry, the Adobe Viewer and the native one that comes with Firefox version 19. And there you go, the Jenkins Law Library video tip.